everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Reality of Wrestling. My name is Brad Gilmore, and we have an incredible night of action for you this week. In our main event, the Diamonds Division will be in action. We will also see the return of the Savage King to the World Gym Arena. And Will All Day will kick off our action this week against Rudy Garza. Championship implications in that match. The winner of that match will go on to challenge for the vacant Reality of Wrestling Texas Championship. More on that later. We also want to thank the nearly 400,000 of you who have subscribed to the Reality Wrestling YouTube channel. Please be sure you rate, review, and subscribe to this channel so we can bring more content like this to pro wrestling fans around the world. Well, with all that being said, let's kick off this week with Will All Day versus Rudy Garza. And here we go to start us off this week on the reality of wrestling. Oh, damn, damn. Will Hart has made his way back into the World Gym Arena, and he has one thing on his mind. That is a win, because a win tonight will put him in a very special position. That position will be in the match to crown the brand new Reality of Wrestling Texas Champion. Let's catch you up. Max Umberto, the most recent Reality of Wrestling Texas Champion, was not able to defend his title in his contracted time due to the COVID pandemic. And now we have stripped Max Umberto of that championship and we will crown a new Reality of Wrestling Texas Champion. And it could be that man right there. Will all day. Here they are, the Renegades of Wrestling and Rudy Garza, one of the co-leaders of the Renegades, finds himself in a big position and if I may say so myself, he finds himself in a very confident position because he has beat Will all day before. He has gotten the shoulders to the mat of Will all day for the proverbial three seconds and I think that winning Beating Will will give him that confidence that he needs to be ultra competitive tonight in our opening contest on the reality of wrestling. Rudy Garza thanking his lucky stars, maybe praying to God right before this match. And he's going to need to bring it if he's going to be competitive against Will all day. Take nothing away from Rudy Garza, but Will all day has been impressive literally since day number one. One. Oh, and look at that, a stiff right. A stiff right hand of Rudy Garza. And now Will All Day is already loading up on him. A low kick to the knee, a kick to the left arm. Rudy Garza in trouble early. Oh. Rudy able to catch that one, what can he do with it? Oh, and look at that, a big knee for Will All Day. We see, we've seen him finish many a men with that knee. And it looks like he's got some special plan for Rudy. What is he going for here? Oh my goodness. Oh, and an elbow to the back of the head while Rudy Garza's neck was propped up on that second rope. Will Day jumping from the top, miss. Rudy Garza bicycle kick, miss. Farman's carried position for Will All Day to the Renegade. And now a kick to the right knee, knocking Will All Day down and Rudy Garza clubbing blows to the back and the upper spine. Oh my goodness, and a close one from Will all day. We are already into the thick of it, and we are just a few minutes into this contest. You can tell how much this match means to both men because the winner will go on to face the winner of Brian Keith and Gino next week to declare the new Reality Wrestling Texas Champion. Oh my goodness, Will all day lives up to his name. He does not stop, not for a second. Beautiful drop kick. Will he go for a cover? He does cover. One, two, and a kick out by Rudy Garza. Will all day a beautiful missile drop kick. Shade to the WWE Hall of Famer Booker T. Will all day. A couple of right hands to Rudy Garza. And Rudy Garza, I got to give the man credit. He sent the rest of the Renegades to the back. He wants to win this one on his own merit. Oh! Bionic elbow to the top of the skull. Will All Day needs to not let his tempers get to him. 
And look at that. When he did it, Rudy Garza now advantage. Some right hands, some forearms mixed in with it. Referee Isaac Bouillon trying to get a hold of the situation. Oh, man. Rudy Garza has really been a standout amongst the renegades of wrestling. He was the first of them to break out into singles action, and every time that we see him, he gets better. He gets more impressive. He gets more confident, if that's even possible. And right now, he finds himself in an opportunity to get an opportunity at his first opportunity for a reality wrestling championship. Irish whip in the corner. Rudy Garza gets the boot up, slowing the momentum of Will all day. Oh, and a beautiful hurricanrana out of the corner from Rudy. Rudy Garza head full of steam, elevated knee to the lower jaw of Will all day. And now Will all day looks like he might be on Dream Street. Rudy Garza bouncing against the ropes. What's he looking for? Oh, man, just putting both of those knees into the lower midsection. Two and a kick out. Rudy might have been a little overzealous on that, pulling back on the hooked leg too much, which actually let Will all day get a shoulder up. And Will really needed to slow Rudy down, but it's not working out for him at a right ham. Referee trying to count to five, trying to break this up, get this ring out of the corner, get this match out of the corner in the middle of the ring. Oh, man! And Will all day grabbing Rudy off that top turnbuckle and just face planting him. Oh, man. And there's that knee. Can he get the cover? Cover one, two. All day lives up to his name in more ways than one, but if I could think of one word that would describe him, it's kinetic. The man never stops moving. He's always constantly in motion. That's what makes him so hard to defeat, but Rudy Garza doing a really good job of slowing him down. This is the strategy to beat Will all day. Rudy has done it before. Can he do it again tonight? Oh, and a beautiful suplex. Holding on, spinning the hips. Shades of Texas wrestling legend and WWE Hall of Famer Eddie Guerrero. Oh, and another one. Is he gonna go for the trifecta? We have one, we have two. Do we have? Here it is. Three amigos, oh wait a minute, the third amigo win from Will all day. And look at Rudy's face, his eyes rolling in the back of his head off of that right there. And now the referee's starting his count. He's up to two. Both of these men already exhausted. And I have a feeling this one isn't anywhere close to being over. Both men getting back to a vertical base at the same time. Will all day start to fire up. A big haymaker right, knocking Rudy into the ropes. Go for that big lariat. Rudy ducks it and a flying forearm from Will all day. Beautifully, beautifully landed. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. Suplex into an inverted power slam. Rudy Garza rolling out. I don't know if that was intentional or just dumb luck. And look at that, a hesitation missile drop kick to the lower chin. Cover one, two, and that's it. Three, nope, two. Two and 15 sixteenths. Will all day's feeling it though right now. Wait a minute. Here come the renegades of wrestling. Here they all come. The numbers game coming into play, we thought, oh, Dex goes down. Oh, another big shot. Well, all day, making sure that he's got everybody, and he turns right in to that low blow from Rudy Garza. Oh, my goodness, this could cost him the match. Oh, and look at that. Big sweeping DDT, cover one, two, and that is it. Now, Will All Day finds a way to kick out. The numbers game wasn't enough for Rudy Garza to get a victory. Rudy Garza complaining to the referee, but that's not going to change the fact that Will All Day 
got that shoulder up. Two men will find themselves on that illustrious card battling for the Texas Championship. The question is, will it be Will All Day? Will it be Rudy Garza? We are waiting on bated breath to find out. And if the way it keeps, or if it keeps going this way, excuse me, it looks like Rudy Garza might actually be the one to cash that ticket. But Will All Day not done yet. Oh! What is Will looking for? Look at that super kick misses. Rudy Garza bicycle kick. Looked for it earlier. Finally got it. And now look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful from Rudy Garza. And that numbers game distraction might have been just what Rudy Garza needed to shift the momentum in this match into his corner. Will all day swing him wildly with a right hand. Rudy Garza had it scouted. And there's that super kick. Oh my goodness. Wow, Will all day just knocking the head off of the shoulders of Rudy Garza. And now he's doing what he does best, getting this crowd fired up. Will needs to be very cognizant of the people on the outside. But can he hit Rudy Garza with that knee? Rudy Garza having trouble even standing up. Referee distracted by the Renegades on the outside. And Will all day over the referee. Knocking out all three of the Renegades of wrestling on the outside. Beautiful from all damn day. Will all day up top. Cross body. Rudy Garza catching it with the two knees. Cover one, two. He got it. Oh, man. Two and a half from Rudy Garza. He was so close to punching his ticket to swing boat. And this is just the opening contest tonight on the reality of wrestling. And her Karana planting Will All Day's face in the mat. Cover one, two, and a kick out again. Rudy Garza grabbing on the back of his head, grabbing on his hair in frustration. He has put this match away several times in his mind. Oh, wait, hold on now, Rudy. Isaac Bouillon not going to take that. Booker T not far away either. You don't want to get the boss man involved, or you don't want to get disqualified when you have this major opportunity in front of you. Rudy trying to get Will up. Corner will all day, shifting his weight, not allowing Rudy to get the advantage here. Smart move by Will all day and a jumping in Zagiri. Looks like to the upper ribs of Rudy, just buckling him over. What is Will thinking now? You never know what the hell this man's thinking, that's for sure. Hold on. Will all day on the top rope. Oh my goodness, inverted top rope. Hua Karana for Will all day to Rudy Garza. And now Will's filling it. He's feeling it. Beautiful moonsault. Cutting Rudy Garza almost in half with that scissor-like precision. And now, he's setting him up. Here it is. Can he do it? And he does. And he does. Cover, cover. One, two, three. Will all day gets his shot at the reality of wrestling Texas Championship. But will he be facing Brian Keith or will he be facing Gino? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, he is one win away from getting his second championship in his reality of wrestling career. Your winner our opening contest, Will All Day.
For over 13 years, the king of solar screens has been an industry leader, and we proudly use 100% American-made products. Home of the $55 any size, any color solar screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circle? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55. $55. Any size, any color, install free. The king of solar screens, on time, every time. Now can you dig that, sucker? And here he comes. Socorro, everyone else likes to call him Soko. And here he comes in his World Gym Arena debut. We have seen him in reality of wrestling before several years back. This is his World Gym Arena and Texas City debut for Socorro. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Because his opponent tonight has not taken too many losses. Actually, he's taken none from the Savage Land. There is the Savage King. Savage King, undefeated since making his presence felt in the reality of wrestling. And you have to think, you have to think that there is a strong possibility that he could end up the next number one contender for that reality of wrestling championship or find himself in line for a television championship opportunity since he is undefeated on television and a big thrust kick to the middle of Socorro's chest. And here we go, we're already underway, and the Savage King acting very savage-like. Tell you what, I've been around this company for now eight long years, and I have never seen an athlete like the Savage King, someone as precise, someone as dominant, someone as killer as Savage King. Look at that. Sakuro's at least north of 280, and Savage King is picking him up like he's absolutely nothing. And look at that! Throwing him over the top of his head. Socorro really drawing the short straw as far as matchups this evening for his World Gym Arena debut. No! Oh! Flying forearm into the corner. Savage King having his way with Soko. Lying up for the cannonball, but Socorro able to move out of the way. Signs of life, and can he turn things around and make history? Drop kick to the left knee, getting the Savage King down, and now some kicks from Socorro, who's quickly found himself in the driver's seat, but wait a minute. Savage King just staring him down, grabs it, trap. Oh my goodness, just slams him down. That's how quickly things turn again in the favor of the Savage King. Go! Oh. Socorro finding signs of life. Signs of life. Going up to the top. Savage King grabbing him by the throat. Oh! And right off the top on his back. Cover. One, two. Savage King. Looks a little bit shocked that wasn't a three count, and I think for Socorro's health and well-being, both physically, mentally, and emotionally, he might have waited to just let that three count. Oh! Oh! And here we go. Beautiful! Beautiful right there! Beautiful cover! One, two, three! Savage King continues his dominance at the reality of wrestling. Who can stop the king? Ladies and gentlemen, the Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division has been the most competitive it has ever been in the history of this company, and it continues on tonight. The champion, Roxy, will be in action defending that Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division Championship in a gauntlet. And here we 
go. Our main event this week on the reality of wrestling. It is Diamond Division action. And it is a special four diamond gauntlet match. And we're seeing the queen of House Rose, Rachel Rose, making her walk to the ring. And this is somebody who, although her attitude is less than desirable, oh, there we go, that's actually a nice sign from her. Slapping five with a fan. Although though her attitude is less than desirable, her in-ring aptitude is way through the roof. She has really come a long way since making her debut in Reality of Wrestling. She gets better and better and better every time we see her. And now she has a shot to be a champion. These gauntlet contests, you never want to find yourself out first or second. And speaking of second, here she comes right now, the second entrant into this gauntlet match. The pink tree, Alex Gracia. You most recently saw Alex Gracia on AEW Dark making her AEW debut. Hopefully we will see more of her over on that program and still see plenty of her on the reality of wrestling from San Antonio, Texas. Here are the first two competitors. Remember folks, in a gauntlet match, once you beat your opponent, so for instance, if Alex Gracia were to beat Rachel Rose or vice versa, they stay in the match. The next entrant comes in and so on and so forth until we have one woman left standing. And the key here is you don't want to take all the damage in the world. You want to take as little damage as possible. So try to get a quick win to remain fresh for the rest of your opponents. And that has to be in the strategy, of, or strategy book of both. Rachel Rose and Alex Gracia here tonight. Nice waist lock there from Alex Gracia, a little amateur wrestling. Rachel Rose reverses it. Oh, and look at that. Goodrich suplex cover, one. Kick out after one. Alex Gracia has been there before. She has risen to the top of the Reality Wrestling Diamonds Division. She has won that championship. Rachel Rose, a title has eluded her thus far in her wrestling career at the row. Will that change this evening? Or how will the fatigue be a factor for both of these women? Can one of them run the table and go all the way to the end to win that championship? You see both of them using tactics that are going to slow their opponent down without also exerting the most energy in the world. There's a submission hold there from Rachel Rose. It's She couldn't get the fingers locked, but it looked pretty good there for a second. Now front face lock. Rachel Rose in the pink dream going at it. Oh, look at that. Handful of hair. Chop to the chest of the pink dream. Pink dream gets the ropes, ducks the big boot from Rachel Rose. Rachel Rose reversal. Can she get the backslide? Rachel Rose using using those longer legs to her advantage with that leverage. And look at that. Speaking of. Smell the roses. Oh, man, I thought she would have had it right there. We've seen her win a match like that before. Beautifully executed from the queen of house rose. Rachel Rose pulling on those hips of Alex Gracia. 
Trying to get her to let go of the rope. She does. Wait a minute. Roll through. Cover. One, two. And did she get it? She did. Alex Gracia gets the three count on Rachel Rose. Rachel Rose has been eliminated from the gauntlet. But how much energy did Alex Gracia have to exert to move on to face her next opponent? And here's the thing you all... Oh, and here she comes. We want to talk about somebody who's got all the tools. Promise Braxton sliding to the ring, about to take it to Alex Gracia. And we'll see how much Alex Gracia has left in the tank after battling Rachel Rose for several minutes in the opening moments of this match. And look at that, some clubbing forearms to the back. Oh my goodness, and a right hand. Promise Braxton, just impressive every time we've seen her. She's impressive. Cover here. One, two. And Promise Braxton's strategy has to be the same as everyone else's in this match. Quick wins, quick wins. And you already have an opponent who's been out there for several minutes. You know that she's weaker. You know that she's used more energy than you. She's exerted all of that physical exhaustion. Swing and a miss. Alex Gracia. Oh, and another one. Reversal into the corner. Promise Braxton laying on that apron. Oh, wow, and a big right forearm from Alex Gracia, the pink dream, knocking Promise Braxton back. And now Promise, oh! Return of the favor, sending Alex Gracia's face right in that top turnbuckle. Referee started his count. Oh, and a missile drop kick. Catching Alex Gracia a little low. Cover one, two, and a kick out of two and a half. Alex Gracia, got to give her credit. Thomas Braxton wearing down Alex Gracia. Very smart move here. She's at one moment gaining her own breath, resting a little bit while she's taking out the oxygen needed to get to the muscles, get to the body of Alex Gracia. Oh! <clears throat> Gracia against the ropes. Duxie looking for that backslide. Can she get it? Didn't work against Rachel. It didn't work against Promise. Promise, oh, and a drop kick there from Alex Gracia. That might have been the end that she needed. Alex Gracia rolls through. Looking for that head scissor, gets her over. And there's that 619. Alex Gracia close to finishing this one off. Oh, and a somersault. Cover, one, two, and a reversal, one, two. Oh man, and she got it. Promise Braxton, in similar fashion to how Rachel Rose was defeated, just defeated Alex Gracia, and now she is one win away for the Diamonds Championship. But that goes through Roxy, the youngest champion in the history of this company. Roxy rolled through cover one, two. Roxy said, I'm not gonna, I don't get paid by the minute. I'm not gonna waste my time. Backslide cover one, two. Braxton kicking out again. Oh, beautiful spinning heel kick from Roxy. Another cover. One, two. Roxy's had the champion's advantage in more ways than one this evening. Not having to come out first. Being able to be the last woman in, and you are the freshest woman out there. At 18 years of age, Roxy continues to impress. She is just a few mere weeks away from being the longest reigning Diamonds champion in history. Perhaps she'll hold it to her 19th birthday. We will have to see. 
Oh, knees to the back, rolls up. One, two. Beautiful, innovative offense there from the Prodigy. Thomas Braxton double hooks the legs. A real deep cover there. Still not enough to get the job done. Look at that. The boot just being thrust into the throat of Rock C. in this match. She didn't spend the longest time defeating Alex Gracia, so she still has most of her juice left in the tank. Snapmare, kick to the bottom of the spine, right above the hips. That one has to hurt. And now the knee right in the middle of the back, pulling back on the labrum on the shoulders of Roxy extending the arms in a way that they're not meant to extend. And you see the pain on the young champion's face. Can she turn this around? Look there, Roxy. Beautiful submission hold. Got her in a front face lock. Has her legs wrapped around her body, the ribs of Promise Braxton, making it oh so very difficult to breathe. Isaac Bouillon, very close, checking in on this. And it looks like Promise Braxton is fading. Somehow back up to a vertical base though. Oh, it's hitting Roxy right into that top turnbuckle. That was the desperation move that Promise Braxton needed. Backbreaker by Promise Braxton out of nowhere. Cover one, two. She almost did it. The championship was in her grasp. Roxy hanging on. Which one of these two women will walk into swing boat as the reality of wrestling Diamonds champion? Promise Braxton, those double underhooks. What's she going for there? Trying to get Roxy up. Roxy not letting her. Oh, beautiful. And look at the face of Roxy. He's pissed. Oh, and that insecurity. That's going to win the match if she can get capitalized to it. Gets her over cover. One, two, and two and a half. And Roxy. Roxy in disbelief, as is our studio audience here at Reality of Wrestling. That normally does the trick. That normally gets the job done. Oh! Roxy with that education cover. One, two, three. Roxy remains your reality of wrestling diamond division chip. She beat Promise Braxton, but the story here is. Thomas Braxton looks like she is reality of wrestling championship material. And I have to wonder if we will see her and Roxy again very soon for that very title. Maybe at Swing Boat. We will find out. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Reality of Wrestling. For our executive producers, Booker T and Charbel Huffman. For our director, Kevin Bernard. My name is Brad Gilmore. And we will see you next week on The Road.